Hello, welcome back to Audacious Babes. My name is Adriana Alejandra and I'm here with my co-host. Victoria. Victoria Marie. Hey, y'all. Um, uh, I'm so tired. I, what did you do this morning? I went to work out. Oh. I told you. Okay, so there's so many fucking family events that are going on right now. Or that are going to be going on. Yeah. So I have a quinceanera and a wedding in October. And then November's me and John's 14 year. Dang. Third, I never get the math right. We were together in 08. So it has to be 14 because it's an even year. Does it eventually come to a part where you're going to be like, we've just been a long, t- we've been together for a long ass time. And you're just not even going to remember the name. Yeah. So we, we celebrate more the day when we became boyfriend and girlfriend than the day that we got married. <laughs> so because no- of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so November, November 10th is when we got together. Um, so that's coming up. And then December, we're going to a wedding in Mexico. Ooh. So I have like, I really have to like, really like fucking work. I'm going to go and get the, have you heard of this? Um, have you heard of this brand? Alani New? Yes. You told me about it. Is it good? It's so good. They have so many flavors. It's so good. And then, uh, because the owner, she back like when social media or when Instagram first started, she had like a whole gym and like was like one of the first uh, fitness creators on Instagram. And so she made a gym and then she got, uh, she created this brand yeah. of energy drinks. And then she like got, has powders, she has protein bars and they're all so fucking good. Like I wouldn't be surprised if later it came out that they're actually just a bunch of like sugar bars instead of like protein okay. bars. You know what I mean? Cause they're so fucking good. But they have a protein thing and like a, what's it called the energy the energy powder whatever the oh, oh like the workout powder yeah but it's it's not protein it's something else it's supposed to give you a, a lot of energy like people okay. will like just scoop the powder in their mouth oh my brother did that they said it's nasty it's nasty yeah all of it is nasty and then they have some like i used to drink one where the powder was on top of the bottle cap. Yeah. And then the, you had a butt, like something and you pushed it and the powder went into the water bottle. Okay. Like bottle, and you mix it and it was like Kool-Aid or whatever. But they will fucking get you hype, bro. Like Really? <laughs> one of, one <laughs> scoop is like 10 cups of coffee, bro. And so, yeah. So I'm going to get it. Is that so good that, for your heart? Probably not. Oh. It's probably okay. not good for you at all. Like anywhere in your body. Yeah. Because like, a lot of sugar, I'm sure. Natalie had one of those. I knew because I, I knew it was the ener- energy drink because you told me about it and I saw her drink and I was like, no. Oh, she didn't tell she, you that it was an energy drink? No, because she'd be sneaking stuff inside the cart every <laughs> time and I don't notice it until we get home. Oh. I was like, no, mommy, you can't have one of those. Does she think it was an energy drink? She knew it was. She wanted energy. So she's been trying to drink energy drinks. I'm like, no, baby. Oh, girl. Okay. Remember when we were initiating for LHP? Yeah. So whatever we initiated and then we went into sophomore year and then we had our own initiates. Girl, I made those initiates buy me a monster every single day. With your money? No. With their money? With their money. They're initiating Adrian, it. They're looking at it and make them suck a dick like I had to do. You had to? No, I just grinded you on somebody. S- but I so knew disgusting. people that did. Really? I knew people that did. Yeah. I but- would have never. I would have thought about it maybe once. <laughs> But then I'm like, nah, I couldn't. What? In front of everybody. No, not for everybody. But I'm sure there were like some guys. Yeah. Um, and when it first started before, like, you know. Disgusting. When they were like, hey, you want to get an LHP? Because, you know, it was popular. Like when it first started. Yeah. Whatever. You got to suck a dick, bro. You got to suck this dick, bro. When I don't remember doing anything like that. The only thing that I remember doing is. What was the first thing that you did? Do that? At HP. Yeah. Mm. You mean like having somebody else when Whatever I was initiating? Whatever they told you to do, yeah. Oh, me? They made me... Oh, my gosh. We went to a park and they made me get put my head to a baseball. Uh, what is it called? Like a bat. A bat. And I had to put my head, my forehead to it and then go in circles and then run after like 20 rounds of circles. That was the worst thing they made you do? Yeah, they didn't touch me. I think... I don't know why. There was one time, I think it was like the first week where we were initiating that like everyone was in the student parking lot or whatever Mm -hmm. and they made three girls. I was one of them. Oh, we kissed. Oh yeah, we did kiss. Yeah, we had to get in the line. We didn't, you and I. No. Remember that time? We had to do somebody else. 
But you were there. Yeah, okay, in the yeah, parking yeah, yeah. lot. Um, there was well, I was one of the, the three girls that had to grind on the guy for like a minute straight. Oh, see, I didn't have to do any of that. But they were they were already like seniors. Which is, thinking back on it is disgusting because I was fucking 14, you fucking sick fucks. And they were seniors, 18, 17. Well, you true. Know, yeah. You know, like that's you were, a stretch. It is. So, a big one. And, but I got in. Oh, well, I hope so. <laughs> if they would have said you got to. It wasn't good enough. Oh, oh I would have done it too. You so ridiculous. <laughs> I would have went over to LLC. LLC, yeah. We should have done one of the Q ones, all the girl ones. I regret oh, not doing the, the little girl, the girl ones. ones. Baby Bulls is still a thing. Yeah, but they wouldn't want us in there. We too ghetto for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. That's why we chose LHP. Yeah. I liked it though. I liked it, but I don't feel like I did a lot uh, for my initiation. I just did like stupid shit like that. And then they had parties and mm-hmm. um, they would make you like box at parties or whatever. But yeah, it wasn't yeah. that bad. I th- I'm sure it was it was worse. It was way worse before. Speaking of parties, you had a uh, you had your babies had a birthday party this weekend. Oh, I will never have a party again. Why? It's just too much work. It is. And too much work leading up to it, too much work during and then too much work after. Like that's why I never have part. But the only reason why we did it this year was because the boys asked for it. Yeah. But never again. It was a cool party. And you can tell Lenny was it, he was waiting for this day his whole life. Yeah, dude. And he was like, because you had so a nerf high. party. Yeah. That's Everyone had cool. fun. All the boys. It was so fun. My mom loved it. She thought it was the best idea. She had her camera ready with the flash on. Yes. Ready to go. <laughs> it was fun. All the boys and all the girls were just sitting down watching. Girl, I sure did. I was hitting everybody with the fucking whatever the fuck they did we didn't even participate i told you we got the next I thought round you went up. i thought you went up you left for a while just you to were. hit john <laughs> <laughs> just to hit john because we had our own he moment. hit you in the head i remember oh, that sorry one. yes <laughs> um, when you got there i, I w- made an announcement i was like nobody hit victoria because she's gonna be in the bad mood <gasps> the rest of the party no wonder i knew you said something i knew it because nobody was playing with me <laughs> Okay, and then Ricky, as soon as I said ow, it didn't even hit me like that, but I was, he was trying to hit you, and I put my hand in the way, and I said ow, he goes, I'm sorry, Victoria. Yeah. And I'm like, what did she tell these I was people? like, if you hit Victoria, she's going to be in a bad mood for the rest of the night, and she's not going to have any fun, so nobody hit Victoria. I hate you so much. I want to have fun. And then you were over there trying to like play, and nobody was. Nobody was hitting me back, except for John. But John nobody. like John went all in, I guess, because nobody else was doing it and hit you in the face. He was like, Oh, you wanna get hit? <laughs> Bloop. <laughs> I knew it. I should have I should have announced to the room. What did she tell everybody? Because why aren't y'all playing with me? <laughs> I think maybe we're not in, are we in frame? Do you think we're in the like good? Whatever. <laughs> we'll find out. Later. Um Okay. So it's pretty cool. Oh, we were talking what? about what we were gonna talk about. I think we should talk about the Adam Lamine thing. So tell me about it. You sent okay. me something. Go as ahead. soon as I woke up yesterday, I went on TikTok, right? And I saw this girl post something. And let me find it because I was like, ooh. <laughs> and, I, and she was like, there's this guy that I was dating or talking to um, who, you know, I should have known better, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, because her and that guy have been together for fucking years, right? And so I was like, okay. We're talking about so, Adam Levine and his wife. What's his what's her name? Bahidi? Bahidi? Girl, I don't know who the fuck his wife is. She's I thought she I thought Secret was, model. I thought he was with um that that chick that Orlando Bloom was with. Oh no, no, no. Adriana Lima. I thought that's who he was with. No, he's with Bahidi. Bahati. Oh girl. She was a Victoria's Secret model. Um, what's her? So other girls are coming out saying that he was talking to them too, other than this one chick. Did okay. they have an open relationship? I don't think so. This is her name. Okay, so her name is her at. If you want to go and follow her, is at Sumner Stro S U M N E R S T R O H. Okay, and she came out yesterday, and basically, this is the video. And this is what I sent you. Yeah. Basically saying like, the only reason I'm coming out with this right now is because my dumbass sent screenshots of the, the IG DMs to my friends. And one of them was trying to sell it to a, a tabloid. 
mm-hmm. and they reached out to her for comment and so that's when she knew that shit was about to pop off so she went ahead and like put it on fucking tiktok yeah which is what the video looks like you think like. she's just trying to go viral and there really wasn't any backstory she's, to it she's so she's in she's an instagram model so, right so she like yeah creates content on instagram whatever she's pretty yeah she was uh, this eyes. this video has gotten 15 million views so obviously she's viral um but yeah that's her and then another girl came out and started saying that it was this girl right here another girl her oh name is God, allison rose came out 30 minutes ago saying that they were talking oh my goodness damning her adam adam what you do in the dark will eventually come to light. Yes, girl. Yeah. I am shook by Adam Levine. He has, and his wife is pregnant. And she's pregnant with her third kid right now. To have that come out. And it, it was, it, I'm sure that chick like would have wanted to wait to say something until um after, it, after she had the baby. But the tabloid was going to run it before yeah. she was able to get ahead of it. I don't I don't even think that was the right move to make. She should have went to oh, I would have went to the Is there such thing as a girl code so you go to the wife directly cuz I've been watching Love Island. Yeah, what the fuck? Where did you start watching that from? Jasenia. She was watching it when oh, we were there. Night. I restarted it. Oh and my so God. this brings me to one of the girls was talking to a boy that already was ch- chatted up or was linked up with another girl. And she says, I'm a, uh, I'm a girl's girl, so I got to go and tell her directly what has happened and that this is not all on me. It was a back and forth type of relationship. Mm-hmm. And do you think that that would have been acceptable for her to do? Go to Bahiti, if that's her name, and say, hey, just as a girl to girl, this is about to come out. And I thought as a courtesy, not even courtesy is not the right word. No, but let me, let me just let you know what's going on exactly. from me. Because if, because if, because if, uh, let's say that it, like, she wanted to tell her, but she was like, well, she's not going to listen to me or whatever. She didn't want to tell her for whatever reason. And she was telling the guy, tell her what happened or I will, you know, that type Mm -hmm. of vibe, that type of scenario. And I wouldn't want to do that because who knows what he would feed her, what kind of bullshit he would feed her. So in that instance, I think I would be the one to go and like tell that person, but if I didn't want anybody to know and like, I want to say shit. Like, that's not my problem. Like, yeah. Especially if it's a he says, she said type of thing. The best thing to do is deny, 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 deny. But th- but this girl has proof. The DMs. That's why you got to be careful who you, who you spread your shit to. Yeah, exactly. Because like, okay, let's say you want to cheat, which, you know, would suck. But let's say you want to cheat. Like talk to them in person maybe or like mm-hmm. talk to somebody that is maybe not in your circle, but somebody that you see in person instead of like messaging them or like on Snapchat. I'm su- They still can screenshot it, but you know. So you're saying if you want to cheat, meet in person. No receipts. Don't be dumb enough to ma- have receipts <laughs> if you don't want to get caught. Like, come on. Like, and also he's famous. Yeah. Of course you were going to get caught. <clears throat> you know? So many girls will keep it a secret because they like that. They like being that secret woman and they probably get a lot of money too. Or they, they don't want to deal with like, they don't want to deal with like being in, in, in the famous, being famous or whatever. I couldn't be that person because I catch feelings way too fast. Yeah, I could. You could? If I didn't want to have anything to do with that person and it was just like fun. I wouldn't do it if like they were with somebody. Yeah. But I would, I would want to be with somebody. Like an agreement between yeah, you two? Yeah. But if, but if they're with somebody, I'd be like, that's weird. Like you're going to get caught up. I'm going to get caught up. Like it's not worth it. Yeah. Obviously it's not worth it. Especially for him. His wife is pregnant, bro. That is so sad. Oh, to find like when that thing happened with Chloe the first time, that was sad because she was already eight months pregnant. Why that are they looking sad. at this as an example? Chloe and Christian. Christian. Tristan. 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 Remember when I told you, I think it was last episode or a couple episodes back where I was like, it never matters what you look like. This bitch is a model and she got cheated on. It doesn't matter what you look like. Victoria's Secret model at that. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. If, you, if somebody's going to cheat, they're going to cheat. That's what I'm saying. Like, why bother being in relationships? It's all about confidence. Yeah. I went to a comedy show. When? 
a couple months back in hyenas. Sorry, my throat is killing me. Um, I went to a comedy show and this guy was coming up and he was talking about making a little bit about his wife and her lingerie and they're older. Okay. So he's like, my wife came out and put on the lingerie that I bought her. But the way that she came out was like, look, is this what you want? You like this? You think I look good? And he goes, and then he turns it around to the crowd. He goes like, women, you don't have to look like one of the models on the show. It's all about confidence. So yeah. when you come out and you own it, we like that shit. But if you come out and be like, this what you like? Look at me. I look so fat. They're not going to want to mess with you. No, no. Because then at that point, it's like you're verbalizing how you feel about yourself. Yeah. And it's like, why? Like, because now it's their responsibility to take on the work to be like, no, you're fine. Where it really should be. What a buzzkill, huh? Yeah, it's a buzzkill. <laughs> Literally, it's a buzzkill. So it's all about confidence. I'm going to tell you a story and I don't care if John gets mad at me for saying it. What? Remember when I told you about how I was trying to do sexy time? Yeah. Okay. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. What? I don't own thongs. Yes, you just told me that. Okay. I only have granny panties because it, they're so uncomfortable. Granny panties are awesome. If 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 I'm going to an event, nine times out of ten, I'm going commando. Because I'm not, I will not, I would rather go commando anywhere than wear a thong. Right? Okay. But I have one. Black one. One good one. One good one. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't get much use out of it. But sometimes when I bought You're a poor guy. <laughs> No, listen to what I'm about to tell you, okay? <laughs> listen to what I'm telling you. So, you know, when I want to be like spicy or whatever yeah. and I want to do like a nice sexy time, mm -hmm. I'll pull it out. You know, I'll shake the cobwebs off of it. Ew, <laughs> you are so disgusting. And like, I'll take it out, whatever. <laughs> I'll put it on. And so I did that thing last week. John comes home, goes straight to sleep. I was sending this man pictures of myself enticing him trying to get him ready for what's to come okay. i had on the black storm or the dark storm that r &B. yeah okay. r &B. <laughs> it was on my phone i lit some candles i was like ready i was like oh we're gonna make a nine out of this you know whatever hey didn't happen he came home fell asleep i was insulted i cried to you about it were you and where were you when he came in on the bed ass a up a as up no blanket on top my booty cheeks were out you could clearly i mean i was sending him pictures of what i was wearing my i was wearing a thong my thong was out i was waiting for him like damn it's right here and he's straight up baby scoot over yeah he's like you, you're hogging got, the covers <laughs> <laughs> that what he said <laughs> can you scoot over <laughs> where are your pads at <laughs> what if he responded like that Sorry as Adriana what happened to all that laundry I gave you I gave I it to it you away. for him <laughs> For both of you I mean Both of you You gave me that's a, Okay you? Any uh, Every every single time you've given me something It's been lingerie And you know good and well it's not for me It is It's for him It's for you to look sexy And for him to attack you Well clearly it didn't work Well you okay. weren't wearing it <laughs> I wasn't wearing it right <laughs> Okay, whatever. So I was pissed, okay? Mm. Tell me why. Okay, yesterday, I had makeup on from the party. This is two days later. Okay. Didn't wash my face. You nasty. I hadn't okay. done my hair. <laughs> my hair is like seven days old. All right. Not even like three, okay? I was wearing like this big old t-shirt. I had just finished cooking sweats. I was in my potato shoes, Mitch Mash socks. And he's like, come over here and suck my dick. <gasps> I was like, are you serious right now, bro? You didn't want me when I looked like a dime piece. And now like I'm t I'm like ratty and like this is like a ragamuffin. Uh, fucking clothes stains on my 3XL t-shirt that I'm wearing. You Mate. want me to come over here and, and suck your dick? This See? is what you find attractive. That's maybe, insane. maybe that's hey, that's a good thing though. But what I'm saying, the point is <laughs> Okay, what's the point? Because I'm like, hey, all right, got some. <laughs> Let's do this. And he said, come to my dick. I love when a man talk. Yes, daddy. Okay. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> Just fidgeting around. All right, so then what happened? Don't 
I did it. Okay, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's like they don't give a damn. It's whenever like they, it's whenever they're horny that they're gonna be like. I know. Let's and I tell John that, that he says. And when I tell him no, he goes, you always say no when I want it, but we have to do it every time you want it. I said, boy, <laughs> no, that's not true. Cause I want it every fucking day and I have to wait on you. Okay. <laughs> that is so true. Like we're, it doesn't take much to like activate the juices down there. I don't even need you to stick any, just attention. Yeah. And, but with them, it's like, we got to wait till you get hard and. Can you hurry up now? Come on. It should already been up. If you're coming at me, if you're coming at me wanting sexy time and it's oh. not already hard, don't don't bother. I like that. Don't make me work for for you to have to get hard. Because yesterday when I, you know, mm-hmm. went there. Yeah. It was not hard. But I did it because I was like, all right, you know, like. This man just got out of the shower though. Yeah. And his pee pee is probably cold and, and shriveled up. Yeah, and, and I'm nothing. like, and it's like little, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, when they're cold, it's little. So you gotta like, and I feel like it's inflating a balloon sometimes. But you know, I hear that they like it. Yeah, they do. When it, which when is it weird. From that to where it can be. Yeah, just it. But it's, it's annoying because then it's like, okay, I'm sucking this little like balloon yeah. that has no air in it. And then I really like, like it. Until it's like, did you know that dentists can tell when you've had sucked dick? Because the back of your throat, if you're like, what? If you're like gagging, gagging on it, the it hits the back of your throat and it bruises it. So if you go to the oh. dentist the day after you've sucked it, they know because they see the bruises in the back of your throat. <clears throat> well, I'm going to try it next time. And see if you got some bruises. Next time I go to the dentist. Do you go all the way like that? Um, no. Oh. But I'm going to do it. Um, what I like to do, and I've been watching videos. Okay. Share your tips. Okay. So you're only supposed to suck on the tip and use your hand to move the skin up and down. Yeah, but... Yeah, okay, yeah, and yeah. And like... Ew, use the skin? Like, yeah. John's not circumcised. Ew. What? Ew. You know that they have more pleasure when they're not circumcised? You know that's why? Like I wouldn't though. Why not? Because I think it looks disgusting when it's not. <gasps> like it's just like a little calip. Oh, it looks like a fucking calipiter. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a caterpillar. What is in this? <laughs> it's like one of those pop-up things. Like I'm, It's like a nice surprise. No, there's not. I need it all. I need That's it how you know when about. they're actually like hygienic. I thought being circumcised because having that extra layer. Yeah, but cause, like, they take more care of it because they have to. Oh, okay. I just not am circumcised type of girl. Hell. Well, once the skin is down, yep. it's the same thing. <laughs> I would rather, if I was a guy, I would rather be. So your kids aren't circumcised? No, because their dad isn't. Um, but also, but also there's, I've, I've heard, I was watching the, this podcast called Bad Friends and all of them are circumcised on it, but all of the ones that have kids didn't get their son circumcised because they know that men have more pleasure when they're not circumcised than if they are. What pleasure though? I don't know. Oh. I'm not a man. Damn. If I could be a man for just one So if you day, had a son. I would get him circumcised. John might not. Oh yeah, he has. Want him to? Uh, yeah. Oh, he, he said oh, he will. Oh, there's no question. I I am going to. That's so sad. You're Why gonna is make your sad? baby go through? Yeah, because I don't like that extra. Skin. You're not gonna be down there with him down there. I gotta sense? prepare him for success. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, you're actually preparing him for failure because no. he's not gonna have as much sensation as everyone else. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. His daddy's doing it. He will do it too in this world. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, none of them. I have five boys. None of them are circumcised. <laughs> hmm. And I know there's just like, it's a religion thing as well. Yeah, Jewish people, they get it. Yeah. Abris. Damn, that's fucked up by Adam Levine though. I know. How far along is she, his wife? I don't know. But she has to be. Like, life is pregnant too. Oh, I saw. They're waiting. I think it's a fourth baby. They're hoping for a boy. They have all girls now. 
They're a cute couple. But they're fucking rich as fuck. They could have done the IVF thing. You know, Kim True. did that. She yeah. picked the genders for, well, not with North, but the other ones. I wish I had the money because I would pick nothing but boys. I wish I had the money because I would pick nothing but girls. Really? Yeah. You can go pick up Nana anytime, girl. You can have all my five boys. I don't need all five. <laughs> I would take one at a time. <laughs> oh my God. We got so mad at them. Like, because... Clearly, what, at the party? Yeah, because clearly because of covid there was two good years where they weren't interacting with any other adults other than their teachers and us you know and we're not party goers or party throwers so they don't they don't interact with other adults yeah that often so i would like really like started to realize like oh my kids don't know how to behave in front of other adults like they have no kids i don't think no Unless you're like a parent that's scolding them every freaking time. No, they're not going to. Yeah. Because they're still growing. I mean, how your oldest, what, 11? 11. Perfect age to act ridiculous and get a a stern talk at you right after. (laughs) So, well, that's what John ended up doing. So that's, so now we're trying to like, we're, John and I had a really long conversation about it because it's like, well, if we're not teaching them how to be around other, other adults, then we're kind of putting them in danger if you think about it. Because yeah. if they act up in front of somebody that doesn't give a fuck, you know? Yeah, that's then, true. You know, they're either verbally or physically, somebody can hurt them. Yeah. So we had a talk with them and we were like, um, hey, don't nobody else give a fuck about you but me and your daddy. So you need to act like don't nobody give a fuck about you. Yeah. For your safety. Like, Somebody, you're going to meet somebody that's crazy enough to slap the shit out of you mm-hmm. for behaving this way. And they got like, they really like straightened up after that because they were like, oh, like they didn't know that any of the other adults would hit them because we don't. Like the adults that are around them, you guys, Ricky, their uncles, they would never. But I was like, but those are not the only adults that you guys are going to be around. There's going to be somebody, there, there might be somebody that really won't, will not fuck around with you mm-hmm. acting crazy. And they're going to set you straight, whether that's verbally or physically. And obviously, you know, we don't want that to happen. So you should show them a movie. What movie? Well, I don't know. But there has to be a movie where they can see that in action, how teenage boys are being just either physically abused or bullied like you should show them movies because they, they can see it in actually in action. The only one that's coming to mind just because I recently saw it was Now You See Me. But it's more of a... What is that? <clears throat> it's based that? on a real life, girl. It's, it's super sad. In New York, back in, i uh, say 1980s or the 1990s. Um, New York, there was uh, about four kids that were picked up on the street. And... Some crime happened and they were putting the blame on those four kids. Now the kids were in the actual police station saying, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Please, I'm telling you. And they finally put them off record and say, you did this. You are going to do this. Nobody's going to believe you. And they all went to the go. They all went to jail for 20 plus years. Where is this movie? Where is Netflix. Girl. Really? It is so fucking sad. And one of them, it's the worst experience of his fucking life going through prison. Prison well, to prison to prison. I don't know if I want to show I know, it. but it's just you got to watch it. You're going to be boohooing. Don't watch it. <laughs> it's I cried so everything sad, though. So. But a movie, not that one, but another movie. Maybe a Disney Channel movie. You know, they got bullying for days. Yeah, but from other adults. <sighs> well, do your research, girl. I don't know. <laughs> they my job <laughs> no yeah that one it was so sad i was like what and they didn't ca- they didn't get caught until 20 years later and they finally got all out of jail what yeah oh, that's so sad i know well i was thinking about one movie it's um leonardo dicaprio but they get raped I don't oh know. the one with the basketball yeah yeah yeah. Oh, basketball diaries yes. no 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 Is it it's basketball? something like diary basketball diaries or something like that I wouldn't want to show them that. No, but that's a good one too. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I'm going to think of something. Yeah. Because now it's like, yeah. Because they're not going to believe me. They they think, oh, mom's just like being over the top like always. Absolutely. Or like, you know? Mm-hmm. That's why I show Natalie Freaky Friday. What is Freaky Friday going to teach her? 
that you got to respect your mother, okay? Because <laughs> we were bickering so much and it reminded me of Freaky Friday, how they changed places and they had to be nice to each other and kind of show unconditional love in order to switch back. And they end up like, you know, being really close at the end. You guys are close now though. Yeah, but there are some times, you know, she's yeah. a teenager, so I got to... Rub it up. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, what are we... Oh, we are 30 minutes. Um, what else are we going to talk about? Okay, let's go ahead and do the questions. Okay. Because I feel like we're going to get on, off on a tangent and we need to like go ahead and do that. Absolutely. So I have a bowl of questions here and you're going to pick one. Okay. And you're going to read it. Do we both, we each pick one and we both answer each question or we'll do one at a time. So you'll, do, you'll go first. But we both answer the question. You just answer it. Unless mm. you want me to answer yeah, it too. Yeah, we both. Because oh, okay. if I'm going to embarrass myself, you are too, bitch. Oh, dang. I didn't know that was the plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were only going to embarrass me. That was a plan. Okay, grab one. Okay. Let's see. The, this should be the bowl of fun. The bowl of questions. Okay, how are they? Is that one? Is that just one? Let me see. Yeah, it's just okay. one. Here. Oh, what you got? Read it out loud for the people Victoria. in the back. Read it. Read it. Read it. What What's you- the closest thing to you that's red? Oh... Not like that. That's not what my intention behind the red. Red means like it irritates you. Like it's cl- something that just gets you, you. red. Really? <laughs> you sorry. You so sorry. Or maybe not even a thing. Maybe um, <laughs> something that gets you mad. Just something that gets you. You see red. Okay. Um, injustice. Okay. Any sort of like. Injustice, like if I go to the okay, there's I have a story actually. I went to the grocery store one time and I was with Axel and my mom, and I don't know if I've told this before, but um, we were at Walmart and there was a mother and a daughter. They were Hispanic and they didn't speak English right mm-hmm. in front of us, and they were trying to. I, I it was when um Walmart used to do price match price matching. Oh yeah, and so they were trying to get their you know vegetables price matched or whatever, and so the lady. That was checking them out. The cashier, I guess, got so frustrated with them that because they didn't speak English, she was like flat out calling them bitches and shit. Like loud, loud enough to hear. And actually, one of my cousins, Delilah, she was, she had happened to be at Walmart at the same time and she was checking out at the same time. And, you know, we were talking or whatever. And then all of a sudden I hear her and it's the cashier that I'm about to, you know, eventually get to calling them bitches. And she was just like looking at them while they're struggling to like, Oh my God. Yeah. And like, just be like, she was like, fucking bitches, bitches. And I was like, and so that girl, I didn't even register that my mom or that Axel were with me. Cause you know, you never want to like yeah. react like that when mm-hmm. someone is with you because you, you know, so I was like, what the fuck did you just call them? Because I knew you can tell like yeah. they're not speaking English. So they're sitting over here trying to figure out their fucking groceries and she's calling them bitches and they don't even know. I was like, what the fuck did you just say to them? And then she was like flustered or whatever. I was like, call them bitches again. Call them. And then I set, oh set it gosh. off. So I start charging towards her. Like, cause you know, the cashier is here. Yeah. I was obviously over here. So I char- start charging towards her, like going off on her. And then management had to get involved. A lot of the people from Walmart came over here and they were like, whoa, wait, what happened? I was like, this dumb bitch is calling them bitch. Like I just went off. Like, it's calling them bitch in front of everybody. My cousin Donna was like, what the fuck? Who was with you? My mom and Axel. Oh my God. What did Axel say? He after? was like, and then I can't, well, when I would like, when, because they- That's where obvi- he gets it from. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> they obviously brought in like someone else to like do my fucking groceries. And the lady was like, over there on the other yeah. side and I was still like I would just kept popping off on this bitch because they Dang. and they were stupid they should have like moved her away from me because I didn't stop until we left just going off on this lady and um and then I told Axel I was like you that you, you know what I just did I was like this is what happened and I told him and I was like and that's what you do when you see somebody being treated unfair it was like a teaching moment yeah. but I was so pissed that I was like screaming at Axel too mm-hmm. but I can I remember him like looking at me like okay like understanding I was like if you ever see anybody bullying anybody or being disrespectful you need to step up and you know and I told him that ever since I was like I told my kids if you ever see anybody bullying someone say something Yeah. if you see something say something 
Because that's some fucked up ass shit. That's some mm-hmm. whole shit. And then too, for like, and to the fact that they're like Hispanic and I'm Hispanic and I, how dare I not say something, you know? Yeah. But, but that got me red because it was like, you fucking bitch, you blatantly are sitting there knowing that they don't understand what you're saying. You fucking coward. Yeah. You know, that got Dang. me red. One day at Walmart. Walmart will get you hype. I say, no, I say, I'm a stay in my lane type of person. Really? If you saw that, you wouldn't say anything? I mean, I would. No, I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't. No, because. I, I pop off every time. I, I guess I believe in just minding your own business. Yeah, but too and like. We don't, I wasn't there. I, I mean, yeah. I could just see one side of it. I don't know. I just like, dang. Now, if it was an altercation and this literally was these people were getting jumped. Yeah. But then again, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not, I'm not bold Maybe enough. Because you, fro- like, you freeze. I freeze a lot. I have to really think through my actions. Yeah. There was the one. Yeah. <laughs> there was the one time where you froze that I. Oh my God. Okay. Plenty more. <laughs> yeah. Well the, well, the only. This is the, this is the first time that I've seen you do that. That that time with the truck. Okay. So we had went out to dinner. Mm-hmm. And Natalie was with us. And John had just gone that truck that he has. And so. I don't know whose idea it was. But we were like. Oh let's go for a drive in the new truck. Or whatever. Yeah. It's this old like. 80s truck but it has a really nice engine so Mm -hmm. john liked it or whatever and so the girls you me and natalie get in the back and then you know they're driving in the inside and john's drive my john's driving and he was like started like going really fast and all of a sudden because we didn't know that he was gonna go fast natalie rolls (laughs) down the fucking bed of the truck and like stops on the door like is like literally like flat her back is flat up against the door and the like, like and I'm like and I like look over and she's rolling and I grab her thing and then I look at Victoria and all I see is Victoria's like this <laughs> like literally frozen in time and I was like and I had to snap Victoria out of it like Victoria grab her and then yes. like that's when you grabbed her John is like that too I can't. I will freeze. I will freeze. I will freeze. So that's why my mom will tell me like, Victoria, can I come over? I need for you. Look, I'm like, no, don't come. Look and I at- like, just look. Maybe she's like, hey, I want you to check something out for me. Or can you oh, take yeah. a look at this? She wants a second opinion. I'm like, No, no, don't come because I don't like to be put in a position where I'm now in charge of somebody's safety or, <laughs> or <laughs> bitch so then what the fuck when we went flying or whatever and we were sitting on the exit doors and the fucking flight attendant was like are you gonna be able to help i just said yes because well, what else am i gonna do i already paid for the fucking c i didn't you know this was like, a question <laughs> you should have been like look let me be honest with you i'm really not gonna help nobody do nothing i'm I gonna would, need the help i just there would be a freezing moment Okay. And then somebody would have to come in like yes. grab you. <laughs> yeah, and just put me, I need for you to get the fuck up and do this. That's what needs to happen. John is like that too. It gets me so mad when John does it though, because he's supposed to be the man of the house. He and he has no type of reflexes. John freezes too. John has to John well, it takes John a, a long time just to figure out what's going on. <laughs> and I know what's going on. I just freeze. But him, he's like, what? What's going on here? <laughs> So I guess his freezing is trying to comprehend everything. Yeah. Well, mine is like, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> yeah. So either way, <laughs> we should don't go do, anywhere. We should go do a fucking one of those rooms where you have to like figure out escape call, rooms. Yeah. John and I, we just he gets mad. He gets mad, and then if he don't finish it to the end, you're gonna hear him talk shit the whole way out. Man, that shit was fucking hard. They didn't. <laughs> We never get through nothing. <laughs> like he's so negative. He's so negative. That's so funny. Uh, okay, well, I say my thing that turn that gets me just red. Mmm. Oh, uh, just simple disrespect to me. To me, oh no, is if somebody tries to tell something to my daughter. I'm sorry, but I'm that parent. You don't. You don't say none to her. Really? No. Mm-mm. Especially with a certain tone. Yeah. Like if you're my mom, okay, that's different. Yeah. But like Miguel or oh, grandpa? Yeah. Not by blood or anything, but grandpa, he tried to say something and I went to my mom, I don't like the way he, I don't like that. If y'all need to tell something and none of y'all come to me. I, for, and I'm like that, I was with, I was actually like that with Jesus. 
Really? Yeah. I'm like, no, you don't hit her, my daughter. No. Like, I'm very protective of Natalie like that. I am too. Like, yeah, no one can like, well, nobody can physically discipline my kids other than me if I need to. But, oh, I'm going to need you to get these kids in line. Because at this point, they're clearly not listening to me. But Natalie is different. Natalie is like the sweetest thing. I feel like Natalie's already in line. So for anybody to have to talk to her, especially in that type of tone, I see red automatically. Yeah. I get yeah. my body starts to fucking just boil yeah. with like disrespect. And that's what it is. It's like if you say something to her or me or even to John, you're disrespecting my circle. Yeah. And I got a problem with that. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, well, I saw you go crazy. I haven't seen you go crazy like this in, in, since high school. Yeah. But I saw you go crazy when we were in Vegas and you went off on John. And it's I could just, literally see your body vibrate. It was crazy. And yeah. then John, my John was like frozen again. <laughs> yeah, he froze. <laughs> <laughs> he really did because I just, go, he went like, <laughs> he just moved his eyeballs. Everything else was like, no yeah. sudden movements. <laughs> no sudden movements. <laughs> <laughs> you scared of you John, I don't know why Girl, You don't know why No Just All of this is just Just be respectful And then when you walked off I know we've said this before But it was so funny When you walked off And he goes What do we do And then I was like Honestly I don't know I haven't seen her like this Since high school So let's give her a minute <laughs> Let's give her a minute And then when you You were walking really far It was kind of the To the point where I was like Okay let me go get her Cause she's yes. It's going She's going too far <laughs> And then I was like Well let me go give her a cigarette So she can calm down and it was the best cigarette ever. It did come down, huh? It, it really come. did work. It went from zero to 50 real quick. 50 to zero. That one. <laughs> That's what I meant. Okay, your turn. <laughs> well, let's hope this is a juicier one. Which, If a woman cannot cook, does that mean she's not wife material? No. Do you think yes? Uh-oh. I think that there's... Yeah, there's a problem. There's a problem. Cooking if I was, is so easy. Like, pull up a recipe and follow the instructions. Match. If you can't even... I mean, I'm talking about can't even cook. You can't even make spaghetti. Oh. That type of bitch. Like, no. That okay, I'm won't. Sorry. That won't. That won't. That, w- that cannot. Won't. You can make spaghetti. But if this bitch does not... Yeah, she won't. There's a difference between can and won't. All right, so if, if they, you don't want to cook for somebody, you don't need to be married. Yeah. But if you can't even cook, do you even give them the time or day? She's Well, if, can a man build me a house? Probably not. No. Can a man uh, put this TV up for me? Probably well, you not. Buy it for me? And I don't think the man's going to be like, oh, are you not going to cook? Are you going to buy me food? <laughs> I don't think they're going to respond <laughs> like that. <laughs> I don't know. Because that's because then you got to think like that's. It's a deal breaker. If somebody wanted to, if I wasn't cooking, if I didn't know how to cook and a man came up to me and like, if you're not, if you can't cook, you don't got to be with me. Then I would reply with, well, if you can't build me a house, then you're not going to be with me. Yeah. Like, how how dare you ask of me this, but you just want to like go to work and bring me money. Like, oh, can you cook? Yeah. Can you cook? <laughs> <laughs> One of us going to have to figure it out and it's not going to be me. Um, I think that that question might be outdated. I actually like, because if I was a man, you wouldn't even get my attention if you can't even fucking cook. Uh, Bye. For real. No, for real. I think you have to come, if you're going to come at somebody, if you can build a house, then you expect your wife to cook. Okay. I don't know. As long as I say, it's just part of the terror. It's part of the role. (laughs) It's part of the motherfucking role, bitch. It's always been a wife is this, that, the the caretaker, right? Doesn't mean that that's only on the mom, the mom. Right. But it is part of the this job description. Along with everything else that we're doing. Like what? Raising yeah, kids yeah, yeah. and working and... No, it doesn't mean you have to go and slave and you can scratch your ass and open a box of noodles and hey, dinner's on the table. <laughs> but you did but that's something. Not cooking. That's I not beg cooking. to differ. <laughs> that's, that's all you be doing. <laughs> that's all you be doing. Oh, that's not one of the questions. <laughs> the questions is <laughs> if she can't cook. I think this question is outdated and you need to pick another one. 
Pick another one. That doesn't count. Okay, I'll do another one. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Let's see what this bad boy is. I should have done. Oh, describe yourself in three words. I just did an interview. Do I really have to do that? Yes. Okay. But I want you to describe your skill. Describe yourself in three words. In a confidence, sexy type of way. Okay. Well, we know I what mean, you are. What? Confident, sexy. No, I, I was just describing. That's not how I identify myself. Okay, do yours in first. Okay. <laughs> I would describe myself as sweet but nasty. And that's one word. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to go on the shirt. <laughs> All right. Sweet but nasty. One word. Uh <laughs> Oh, um, I'm very ambitious. Sweet, nasty, and ambitious. Yes. And for the last word, um, I feel like I'm funny. Yeah, you're very funny. I'm funny. Without trying. Without, if you, if I try, then I'm not funny. No. But if I get real cool with you, yeah, I'm going to keep you rolling. Yeah. Oh my God. There's this one video. Can I post it actually? There's this one video. It's not even like verbal com comedy it's physical comedy that oh you do gosh. that's so funny just to watch you live life is hilarious <laughs> so like okay there's this video that uh victoria's mom took on snapchat right oh my <laughs> the, the, do it do it I'm okay fine. i don't i saved it but <laughs> i'll maybe post it on our thing it was a fruit roll-up challenge okay. and i won Okay, so Victoria and her brother were up against each other, right? <laughs> and there was a fruit roll-up challenge. So essentially, you just have to like roll the fruit roll-up. It's like hanging and you have to like suck it into your mouth uh, before the other person, person yeah. does it. And then like Victoria goes, I'm going to see if it'll get it on here. But Victoria's like, the Victoria's mom is like, go. And then Victoria goes. <laughs> so her brother's like trying to get the roll-up in his mouth. And Victoria's like. <laughs> like trying to catch it in your mouth at the same time and bring it up it was a girl when i tell you that me and my mom watched that video 20 times laughing dying my mom we were laughing dying i felt like it was a whole body movement that led me to the win because it was like a like a just like an ocean wave and it just became natural while if you're sitting there like you're putting a lot of work when you can just be happy i you know <laughs> I don't, I don't have to explain my strategy, okay, to the fruit roll-up challenge. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, bitch. Ugh. Describe yourself in three fucking words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would say I am smart. Mm. Mm -hmm. I want to use ambitious too. Okay. Ambitious yeah. and psychotic. Oh. No. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, psychotic. Um, How? Because that can be that can be no 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 not psychotic emotional. Okay, yeah. Smart, funny. No, smart, ambitious, and emotional. Mm hmm. I'm very emotional. Yes, you are. I'll cry at the drop of a hat. And even not just a sad, just like emotional crying. You're emotional in a way where you get so happy or you get so yeah. hype. It can be either either. Yeah, like, you're just emotion emotion hype. All together, and I'm not sure if that's the right word, but that's how I describe you to everybody. I was like, she's a lot. She's a lot. You, you ready? <laughs> All right, she's a lot. A lot. <laughs> that's why I don't have many friends. Actually, why? I have a lot of friends. You but, really do because of that reason. But because I like you're tired I, of putting on all the work. Yeah, I'm not tired. I love it. You like it? I like. Yeah, I like being friends. I like having friends, and I like um interacting with people. Yeah. That's why I like um when I was a cashier girl, I loved it. Before I was doing medical assisting, mm -hmm. I was doing cashier. I was a cashier at Sprouts and I was a cashier at Fiesta. Oh, at Fiesta was so much fun. <laughs> because, you know, and I love to talk Spanish. So I was like, I was fucking with everybody. Any, anybody that came in my line mm -hmm. left laughing. If only they had tips. Yeah. Girl, yes. That would have been awesome. I would have gotten so many tips. Yeah, you would have. I think I should be a bartender. Yes, you should. You really fucking should so I can get half price drinks. Come on, man. You start thinking about me. 
<laughs> you think enough about you for everybody else. No, I don't. Okay, you said I'm very selfish, and I didn't say you were selfish. So you y- you agree with it? Yeah, I agree. But I didn't say I'm it. not selfish. I just don't like to share. You. Don't like to be inconvenienced. <laughs> oh, a hundred percent by anyone other than yourself. Is that a bad thing? Yeah. How? Because b- by you not wanting to be inconvenienced, you don't do anything, or you didn't do anything. What do you mean? And now I can tell. Like I can always tell when you're like, I stiffen up. Yeah, you stiffen up <sighs> real hard. Okay, then, that's true. And your face goes. I just don't like... I mean, there was an easier way to do this. Now look what you did. You put a rock inside of my m- m- path. path, And now I got to move this shit just so I can keep going. It would have been all easy peasy, but no. And you think you're always right. Do I? And you are always right, honestly. You're very smart, but you, but you hold back. Yeah, I do. Because I don't want to look stupid. Yeah. When, but if I show my true colors, yo. But you, you told me I can't even be my true self because then it would... You wouldn't be able to be friends with me. You would just be really, really mean. I mean, I like it when you're mean to me. <laughs> I'll just be really, really mean. I like it when you're mean to me because I know how to work with that. But if you were to like let loose of all of the reins that you have like put on yourself, I think you would be single and your daughter would go and live with her father. <laughs> and I would actually love it. She would not leave my side. No, you don't No, think so? she would never. She would not. You, as you much would as- never be mean to her like that. Uh, probably. Well, yeah, she needs a certain talking to. No, yeah. but like, oh, you just let loose completely. No, 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 definitely not. But she knows her mom's crazy. Um, damn. I just, I don't think it's a bad thing to not want to be inconvenienced. No, it's not. That's why I do everything myself. And I don't think it's a bad thing to be a bitch. True. True. Just time and place. Time and place. But I am working on the whole inconvenience thing because a lot of folks... You, you are. You are. It's surprising to me how like better you've gotten about it. I really am. I, I really am trying. It's hard because I catch it after the fact, but then I immediately like respond to it. I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm Well, you never apologize to me. <clears throat> For what? <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, that must have been on you though. Yeah. That's See? what I was about to say. But then I got distracted with you mean monkey me <laughs> bitch. No, we got it on video. Um, yeah, no. Typically, if somebody's upset with me, I know that it's my fault. <laughs> because <laughs> you already know, like, what the fuck did I do? Yeah. I want to live in the fun moment that I don't take care of the important things sometimes. And that causes, like, the fucking, fucking accident, the tire that fucked up on me. Yeah. I could have put air in it. But I was busy trying to get to the fun time. La- lazy. Anything lazy? We got to prioritize. Yeah. Because yeah, cause I feel like I'm at the very thin rope where like people are going to like when I say people, I mean like my family members are going to stop fucking with me because I. You running up the bail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor Jesse. How many times have you called him? I always call him for everything. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Anything car related, I'm like, Jesse. Oh, at least he comes. Yeah, but because he knows that I won't stop calling him <laughs> <laughs> until he comes. He's like, let me just go and get this girl. Yeah. He's yeah. like, let me go before she calls me like 20,000 more times. I asked Where him for a job time? and he was like, fuck no. <laughs> what did you want to do? He, he works at, he has a car salesman, whatever the fuck. He, he can't work with you. No. No. He can't. All right. Here's the next one. How many people do you actually have in your close circle? I have a lot. In your close circle, meaning if you have the most deepest secrets, embarrassing thing, this is the circle that you could be able to tell that person, that too, with no judgment. You Family feel and friends? What, whoever's in your close circle. I have a lot. Okay. But I was going to say this too. I think also <clears throat> because people, uh, I think people genuinely worry about me because I feel like they don't think that I um, have any common sense. <laughs> so they're like, we kind of have to keep her or she'll probably die. You are the smartest, dumbest person I know. Yeah. <laughs> I like to, for people to think that I'm dumb. Yes. That's what I was just about to say. You are smart, but you act. Yeah. Because but you're so smart. Because th- because you know why? why? Because I'm a fucking sneaky bitch. Because oh. then I see who treats me with respect. I can see that. You know what I mean? So if you over here thinking I'm dumb, 
bitch, I'm a millionaire. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Stupid. Um, okay, so it's family too. Okay. My mom, my brother, all my cousins. How many cousins? Did you, on you my put mom's three? side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because if I ever need them, I know that they'll look up. But th- that's not quite a little circle. Mm-mm. Okay. My mom, my brother, John, obviously. You, Dylan... I guess that's it. Yeah. I know my deepest heart is even. Yeah, five. Mm. Mine is very tiny. Two people. And I don't want to name because people will get offended. <laughs> you should you shouldn't have said two then. <laughs> yeah, only two. But I yeah, only two. I keep a very close circle. I may be friends with you, but you're not in my That's close circle. That's not a circle. circle. That's a line. <laughs> Will you just describe from A to B two people? Th- this is the the petri dish, and there's two <laughs> people dish. in the petri dish. Everybody else is in the in the other dish. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, okay, I okay. separate those two groups. Got it. Am I one of them? In the petri dish, yeah. You know, petri dish is like a dish where bacteria is stored. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But I, there wasn't no bacteria in it. It was just water okay. for my people to be staying in. <laughs> you cleaned it up. I cleaned it out, girl. What you think I am? I'm a wife material girl. <laughs> I know how to clean a petri dish. <laughs> this is the only thing that came to my fucking head. Why did I think of science? And like you're petri smart because you're smart. That's why. Oh, uh, thank you. Okay, so what? Are you gonna keep picking one more? I'm ready for a juicy one. Yeah, you pick ones. the sucky ones. <sighs> Don't even say it if it's not juicy. Pick another one. Okay, yeah, because I was going to go deep. All right. As you see, I'm a very deep, emotional person. Yeah, she writes poetry. I do. I talk about my feelings. (laughs) Nope. Deep. Damn. (laughs) Did you add the one that I told you yesterday? Yes, I'm trying to find it. We could just ask it. Have you ever gone out with someone out of pity? Yeah. (gasps) Oh. Adriana you? Nunez. Have you? Who? I only went out with him like one day. One date. I'm not going to say his name. Uh, okay, after the show. But <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually dated someone out of pity, but I kissed someone out of pity. That's worse because I didn't kiss. You know, I have a total of 44 people that I've kissed. I actually, have the name. I know exactly who I've kissed. Dang. 44 boys. I don't know how many. Before I got with John. So from 12 to 16, 44 boys. What's that line in that movie, F- uh, Fruit Lo- Foot Loose? And he says, oh, you think I've been, you think I'm going to change the word here. But he says, she says, you think I'm a hoe? He says, no, but I think you've been kissed a lot. I've been kissed a lot. I don't think that's bad. It's better than like having 44 sex partners. Very true. Hundred, I agree. I agree. Yeah, that's probably the only. I kiss. I kiss people, even when I don't want to. It's because I don't want to let them down. I just like kissing. I'm like, ooh, let me ooh, let me feel your I little just feel lippies. So bad. What that you don't want to let people down? Yes, I like. I let them kiss me. I'm just like, <laughs> why could you just say no, girl? Why could you just say no, <laughs> Delia? Fuck, she will. She don't fuck around with that. You go in to kiss her, and if she's not ready, she goes. Mm. Really? Every time she she's tells like me, she's like pretty woman, but she's like, I don't kiss. I only kiss the people I love. Or she is that. Don't even try to I put a kiss peck on anybody. She's like, <laughs> no way, buddy. <laughs> I will kiss anybody. Really? I mean, not now, but I used to. I mean, I wouldn't say I would kiss anybody. They have to meet a certain standard. I mean, like you, your teeth had to be just. Adrian, just say just don't say anybody. Well, the people that I've kissed have had fine hygiene. <laughs> they didn't stink. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, there was one. There was one um, g- boy that I kissed that I remember he. And this is why I do it because I know I'm a good kisser. Yeah, and it all was just justified to me after I kissed this one boy. Mm. And he was like, oh, I didn't think you'd be that good of a kisser. I was like, I'm a good kisser. And he goes, you're a really good kisser. So who I says know. that? I can tell you who it was. Who? I'm not going to tell you the name. Oh. 
who says that? I didn't think you would be a good kisser. Well, because, okay, the scenario is I was dating this one guy. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then he like started like talking to this other girl that had just broken up with her boyfriend. Um, and we were all in the same class together, but this was already after like we had left. Yeah. Um, And so like he was bitter that he was dating her and I had a car. Okay. So I picked him up and yeah, we made out a little bit. But he was mad because my ex was dating his ex. So he was like, oh, I'm going to get, you know, get I'm going to get back. Yeah. But, but then I was like, oh, well, I mean, I have a car. We can go hang out. Cause you know, I wasn't with anybody and I was just trying to hang out. I was just trying to be friends. And then he was like, l- leaned in and I was like, all right. And then I leaned in and I'm a good kisser. Dang. That's the moral of the story is I'm a good kisser. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I would say I'm a good kisser because I don't really like to kiss. It's a waste of time. Like you, you could like be kissing play? somewhere else. Huh? What? What? <laughs> I love foreplay, but not oh. kissing foreplay. Kiss, just sitting there and just kissing and kissing. All right, baby, we're going to have to switch it up. Yeah, John doesn't like kissing either. Not like for a long time. Like, okay, give me, let's give it a, like a quick minute. Do our thing. Then we get on top I of you, whatever. But kissing. I think kissing is like. You like swapping spit? Yeah. <clears throat> and especially if you smell good. Like, because, you know, like. Sometimes some people, some certain people just smell good to you. Yeah. And I think that's so disgusting that I just said that. I'm sorry. It's probably a spit. Yeah. It's so <laughs> disgusting. Well, is it really what it is? Ew. I mean, not really what it is, but it <laughs> happens in the process. But it's just like, and then like you're kissing or whatever. And then it smells good. And they're like, I, it smells to me. If you smell good, mm-hmm. <laughs> let's go to the closet right now. Yes. I smelling love. good. John doesn't wear cologne, but he doesn't have to. I'll smell his armpits. Ew. You don't smell your mouth? No. Uh, you back, know back. that you know that's you know you know in order for you to you have to like your person's pheromones. What are pheromones? The the their body their, odor? Their hygiene. Their yeah, not the yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because if Oh, you, then I don't like John's. Then you're not supposed to be together. Shit. So I gotta go around smelling everybody's musty ass. No, but if you like it, like I love John. Yeah. If you like it, that's that's why we're I think that's why we've been together so long is because chemically we go together. You're supposed to go together chemically with your other person. Now some people think that's full of shit, but it weren't it's it's valid because the before the shower or after the shower? Any at all. Because I remember I remember okay, John remember John used to play football with all the guys yeah. in high school. And I remember after that I would be smelling him and I'd be like, ooh, you okay, no. okay, okay. But then mm-hmm. I started dating another guy and he was a football player and I remember like meeting up with him after practice. I was like, This is not smoking. Yeah. Good. But it was be- like both were like they were sweaty and you know. It- what did John smell like flowers or something? No, it just smelled good. I'm like have to smell him the next time he's sweating. Your John? No, your John. Don't be smelling my man. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta smell this you guy. Gonna, that is very personal. Why? You I just want to know his how his armpit and smell it. No, but you can smell any part of his body. That's right? true. That's true. That's true. So let me see your hand, John. Let me smell because I heard you smell like flowers when you sweat. <laughs> no, I didn't. Because <laughs> Johnny doesn't. I mean, baby, you gonna take a shower, right? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. Okay, you need a towel. <laughs> I will push that boy in the so, shower real quick. Some some people just smell good to you. Yeah. I had that with two people, John and another guy. I don't smell anymore. Ever since I got COVID, my taste and my smell. Really? That yeah. is so sad. I would and be I got so a lot, what, last year? I don't think I got COVID at all. Yeah, you got it last year. Damn, a whole fucking year. A whole year. I don't think I'm going to get it back. It's been a whole year. So you don't smell anything bad? That's not good either. It comes, I think if I, as soon as I wake up, I can smell. As soon as I like blow my nose in the morning, I can smell. But you, that only lasts about what? 10 minutes, 20 minutes? Because all of a sudden I just like, oh, okay, I don't smell nothing no more. My perfume, no nothing. Yeah, so that's what I hate it because I'm like, man, I'm big on smell. And I'm a bigger, I feel like I'm like, I'm not tiny. And I sweat a lot because I'm very, very hot nature. And I hate it because what if I smell? Nobody has the guts to tell me. Bitch, oh, I'll you tell you now. But I don't keep you around all the time. That's true. And that's why I hang around. With I hang around with people that are like 
Oh, no, you look fine. Oh, I can't stand you. <laughs> tell me what's John up. John won't tell you if you think. No, because he doesn't want to hurt my feelings. Or at least I think that's what he's saying. Maybe no, he doesn't fine. smell anything. Did he get COVID? Maybe no. he doesn't smell anything. He didn't get it. Anyway. You don't smell now. Thank you. Just to let you know. But if you did, I would tell you. Okay, good. But I think you should probably just pack on that deodorant just in case. True. I have like a travel size. I need to. In a little body spray. Remember the Walmart ones that we used to get? The fancies? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. The Victoria's Secret ones. Not from yeah. Walmart, obviously. Um, <sighs> I think we're good. We did a good time. I know. We went through. I'm going to have to add some more questions, but I'm going I'm to mix them up so it's not we so We need deep. more juicy questions. I know. Must up. I'm not going to put my emotional side in it because I'm like, oh, I want to know how she can answer this. It was for my own pleasure. <laughs> These questions were for my own pleasure. And you ruined it. Okay. I was trying to have a, a little smoke session with deep questions. Okay. Do one that you wanted to do that was deep. No, because we're going to be here all day. I'm, look at these. I put them in 10 folds. That's we a can lot. Wait. We can wait. And also do like a smaller font. <laughs> Why? We do the whole thing. <laughs> I like big font. Okay. You can do another one. No, I just want to look at it. What does that one say? Ooh, what's the best compliment you ever received? That I'm a good kisser. <laughs> <laughs> from yourself? Oh, no, from that no, person. Okay, from that sorry. boy. And he had no emotional ties to me, so it had to be true. Ooh, that's even better. Yeah. Right. I don't I don't know. Hey. That's a hard one. I don't know. What is that? What the compliment that? one. I don't know. How do I answer that? No one's giving you a compliment? Well, they probably have, but I'm just... I have to answer it. I haven't had a best compliment. Nobody has given me that best compliment yet. What would it take for you to get a, the best compliment? Sweep me off my motherfucking feet. I want a whole audience. That's the best compliment. So when you get proposed to, you want it in front of everybody? Or do you want that to be private? Ooh, okay. That's the best compliment is getting proposed to. Because that means they want to deal with your stupid, crazy ass True. for the rest of their life. And may the lucky man win. <laughs> um, If somebody came up to you and proposed to you and it wasn't John, would you be oh like, okay. <laughs> if no, the rock is but that enough. would be the compliment of the day. <laughs> That would be the best compliment. <laughs> you should go home and tell John, hey, somebody got, I got proposed to today. I got proposed to today. That's okay, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to record him and his and reaction. He, he could be like, what the fuck? He could be so mad. He will. He's going to be so mad. Because he had a dream last night that I broke up with him and he got, he woke up in the middle Crying. of the, in the morning. He was, no, he's like, mm. I was like, what's wrong? He goes, man, I just had a dream that you broke up with me and it felt so real. And I was like, was he sad about it or was he like happy about it? No, he was sad because as soon as I got to work, he's like, damn, that dream really did feel real. So it shook him to his core. And I'm like, okay, (laughs) plant that seed because now he knows. You're you're uh, you're uh, he's asleep at night and you're (laughs) in his ear. (laughs) Victoria's going to leave you and if you don't act, if you don't straighten up, I'm going to leave you. (laughs) No Straight up Like a song <laughs> Straight but I was actually I didn't say I'm like oh babe Don't worry about it Because I was just Taking it all in I was like Ooh He treated you A little bit better Yeah Yeah what, what he, he checked on me <laughs> <laughs> He never checked so on me So now you're gonna Ignore him That's what it takes dude You gotta be a fucking ba- See that's I think that's why John has been with me As long as he has <laughs> Cause you're a bitch Because Yeah because <laughs> I don't care yeah. I'm not going to be sweet to you for what? We both know what this is. Uh, I think my relationship with John has really gotten better because I no longer do it for him. I do it for me. Yeah. Yeah. Girl. Exactly. And that has been the change. That's what I'm saying. Like confidence is everything. Mm-hmm. And it really is. Like he yeah. sees me a little different. He wants to mess with me more. And it's because I'm no longer doing it for him. I'm doing it for me. Yeah. It's like... um. Yeah, I don't know. I guess guys like to be treated like shit. I mean, it's not like we treat them like shit, but we're not all up in their ass. Yeah. I'm not. Never have been. You just have to remind your man, like, this is what you have. And if you don't, don't want it, that's it for fine. If you don't want it, that's fine. But somebody else says, you ready yeah. for, You ready to see me with somebody else? Because I'm ready to see me with somebody else. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how you have to be. I agree. I agree. And that's how you keep... And, hey, 14 years, bro. 14 years. I know what I'm telling you. And you got a good man. Yeah, and he's a good man. A very good man. So just be a bitch. 
I don't think that's the answer. <laughs> just, 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 just don't. Yeah, just don't. Just do don't it bend it. over backwards for every little thing, bitch. Make him work for it and remember your worth. Yeah, that right there. But I think more so what you said. Do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. When you do it for yourself, that's like, when other people start to notice. Because when you do it from other people, they never notice. Yeah, they're like, okay, she's just like up my yeah. ass again. Mm-hmm. Like I got her like this. Uh. Uh-uh. No, because when you do it for somebody else and they don't get that, re- you don't get that response. Now your whole confidence has gone to negative zero or negative one and it's just ruins your fucking day. So do it for you, bitch. Like suck a dick for you. Mm, probably not because I heard STDs numbers are tripled right okay, now. Well, maybe, yeah. Uh, uh, somebody <laughs> that you're with, somebody that you've been, been with for a long time, suck a dick for you. Can you believe it? They said that. Think of any STD that's out there right now and- they have tripled in numbers this year. You know why though? I think it is because people are more afraid to get pregnant than they are to um, get an STD or an STI, yeah. whatever the fuck it is. No? Which is so sad because if you do get an STD, like what? Um, an ST. Something, it can be passed down to your children and children. Yeah. Some of these things aren't reversible. Yeah. And then, yeah. But too, that's... Um, so if you, if a guy knows that, or if a girl, whatever, if if they're aware that you're on birth control, then mm-hmm. they don't want to wear a condom. True. But you still have to wear a condom because it's not just pregnancy, it's STDs. Exactly. So just because somebody's on birth control or like has me, like in my case, has a, had a tubal, that doesn't matter. You still can get an STD. Just because you got a tubal doesn't mean that you're not going to get an STD. Exactly. Have nothing to do with each other. Please wear a condom. Ew. Please. Oh, when um my nephew... Uh, moved in with us we got him like a value pack of condoms oh the ones with like the twist and everything no 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 oh. ew no just like 50 condoms I always wanted that Fif- the, fa- the value one. actually I'm gonna go to Walmart after this and I'm gonna get me a, a a variety pack last night I asked John if he wanted to go to a sex store but then the babies woke up so we couldn't I go I love going to this me and John go all that's not all the time but we go yeah you used to go a lot right you used yeah. to tell me you used to go a lot we went like a couple months ago it's been years since we went but I wanted to go get a dick ring a cock ring? Okay. That would be a next topic because I really want to know more about that. Okay. All right. All I right. guess that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, make sure to follow our social... <laughs> make sure to follow our social meets. Ricky is at a social meet. So that's what we're going to call <laughs> Social meets or social media. Social meets. Um, at the other Diana Alejandra. At sincerely yours underscore tour. And at Audacious Babes Podcast. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.